Meanwhile, technology giant Google has just made an announcement that could very well change the way we use computers. The company's CEO Sundar Pichai claims to have made the very first practical application of quantum computing, an almost mythical level of scientific advancement if this is what is to be believed. Take a listen. Today is that Google researchers uh, have achieved an incredible breakthrough in quantum computing. They've demonstrated with the quantum computer that it can perform a computation in seconds what would take the world's fastest supercomputer years, thousands of years, to do that same calculation. All right, thousands of years is what Sundar Pichai claims is what it would take a normal computer to solve this problem. So let's try and break this down for you. Now, quantum computers are much more complex and powerful than even summit supercomputers. This is because while normal computers interpret data in the form of bits, a quantum computer uses a something called qubits or quantum bits. In simple words, a normal computer sees everything in binary terms, like a yes or a no, or an on or an off. But a quantum computer can assign simultaneous values to a piece of data, therefore enabling it to compute millions of possibilities at the same time. The result? Well, the Sycamore quantum computer can solve a complex problem in 3 minutes and 20 seconds, while a normal computer claims Google would take almost about 10,000 years to solve that same problem. Google's team has proven it can work. This is the hello world moment for quantum computing that many of us have been waiting for. At the same time, we know that we are still in early days. We are still likely years away from a lot of the practical applications we are most excited about. All right, so as you just heard, the technology is still at a very nascent stage and we are still many years away from a proper practical application of quantum computing. Now, a team of scientists in IBM have also disputed Google's claims. According to them, a normal computer would actually have completed the same calculation in about two and a half years or maybe even less and not thousands of years as Google claims is what would be needed. If perfected, quantum computing can be applied in financial transactions, drug development, encryption software and even solar panels.